house fire turns deadly early this morning in Athens. That's our top story tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Connor Ward. And I'm Chase Gallimore. An elderly woman in a wheelchair died in that fire. Our Kayla Carlisle spoke with some people who knew the victim very well. Well, guys, around 5 o'clock this morning, Athens Fire and Rescue responded to a house fire right here on Pruitt Street, where first responders say they found the body of 78-year-old Ada Yarborough. I'm mean, when I tell you everybody kids was hers, everybody kids was hers. She was a woman with a kind heart. Bucket was a person she loved the Lord and she could sing songs and she liked the feed punks and she had joy and then anybody was outdoors could come to Bucket. Friends knew her as Bucky. Today, we remember her as Ada Yarborough. The 78-year-old had been battling her health for quite some time, resulting in her relying on a wheelchair to get around. I'm not sure of the sickness she had, but I know they ended up amputating her leg. But I knew she, you know, she stayed sick and in and out of the hospital. Early this morning, flames erupted at her home, but Ada didn't make it out. This was hard to believe, and I just had to come see you one more time, you know. Like I said, I, I have memories here at this house, you know, being young. Athens Fire and Rescue say they are still investigating the cause of the fire, but family friends say Ada also relied on an oxygen tank, and they believe that could have contributed to the flames. There's nothing bad, no one to say about it. Sleep on, Becca. Take your rest. Neighbors say Ada lived in this home for quite some time. We'll make sure to give you guys all the updates as soon as they become available. Putting the Valley first, I'm Kayla Carlisle, WZDX News.